people. How can you do a vlog when there is always someone around you? How can you do it? You can't. You just can't. You can do a test and make it fun with a Snoopy GIF GIF. <sighs> yeah, so this morning I was here half an hour before the kids actually come in. And oh, the teacher next door was already there because there's a strike on the train and he can't take the train, so he took his car to come to work. And, and he was here even before me. I just couldn't do anything with you. I'm so sorry. People, today, a quick chat about how to engage students and um, something that I did uh, all right, it's science related, but hey, I am a science teacher, so uh, yeah. It was about um, recreating mammoths. <laughs> How could we recreate mammoth with a simple sample of blood, for example? Because you know, we have found mammoths in Siberia, frozen, so we could take some DNA from them and they don't know about DNA yet. So first, we've got the cell and the nucleus. And today, they have understood that all the informations uh, about how our characteristics are in the nucleus. First step. Uh, so we take an egg from an elephant, we take off the nucleus, and we put in the nucleus from a mammoth, and theoretically, we could be able to give birth to another mammoth. And so the species is reborn. That's the theory. And they had to explain that to a diagram and a little text to do it. Uh, that, and they enjoyed it because it was really like how to save a species that is uh, disparu, gone, disappeared, who has disappeared. How can we do it? And then the second lesson is kind of the following. Now that we know that in the nucleus, there's, there are the, all the characteristics of a living thing in the nucleus, how can we, what is in, inside it? We have to look what is inside it. Where are all the informations written? Where is all the characteristics of this beautiful face written? Answer. Not on the DNA, quite on the DNA, and first step, chromosomes, and then DNA. So they will go and look into the microscope for when uh, they will look at different cells who are multiplying in the roots of a flower. They will look at it and then draw chromosomes and realize that different species have different chromosomes, different numbers of chromosomes. And uh, it's not true yet, but at this level, they are six, seven, eighth graders. They are eighth graders, we just stop here. Next year, they will start from here and then look for DNA and genes. And then, allele, allelis, 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 les alleles and then allele. So it will be more complicated, but we are building things afterward. Years after years and lesson after lesson. And you know, this year, I'm going to talk about um, chromosomes again when we do the human reproduction. We'll see the sperm, the egg, 
fecundation, and then uh, we will look at how many chromosomes do we have as humans, and what happens when we don't have the right number of chromosomes. That's it for today. And so, you know, we are in a spiral curriculum, spir spiraling, spiraler in French, and we go to the same themes, but every time we go a little further. And it's, uh, and every time we <clears throat> talk about what we already know, so that someone who hasn't understood the first time has a second, a second try to understand. So that's it. I think that will be it for today. It will be short, but never mind. It's a daily vlog. It can be short, right? So, thank you for supporting me. I will try to edit this video just a little so that I can um, upload it quite quickly and be, take the pace, etc. So for me today, it's the weekend, so it's awesome. I've got quite nothing to do this weekend, but I do have something because, you know, for the one who follow me from almost the very beginning, you know that I'm working on a social media for my students and um, relating to school, and that's what I'm doing with kind of a MOOC, um, with open badges, um, peer learning, uh, gamification, all the stuff into uh, an environment on the internet, I'm working on this, and there are four people from the digital network um, that are coming to see me, and I have to show them what I have already done. And I just hope that they will say, yes, you can use your tool in your classroom. That would be awesome. That will be on Tuesday. So stay tuned, see you next time, don't forget to be happy.